Sprink FDT and Sprink Calc represent a major breakthrough in fire sprinkler system analysis. Both programs utilize computer-based models to predict system performance. Sprink FDT is used to analyze the behavior of dry and pre-action systems and is listed by UL as required by NFPA 13. Sprink Calc is used to perform hydraulic calculations on wet sprinkler systems and is included with all Sprink FDT licenses. Both programs run in a common environment. Licenses for FDT and Calc may be added to Sprink Calc 3 or, without licenses, can be used as a viewer for projects. The Sprint Calc 3 viewer is available as a free download from our website. The Sprint Calc 3 interface includes graphic, pipe, and node views. Selected items in the graphics view are also selected in the other views. Items selected in the node and pipe views are also selected in the graphic view. You can also select multiple items so that global changes can be made, such as K-factors and pipe sizes. The graphic view allows you to see your project in three dimensions. Move your system to any perspective with the graphic buttons. Here, the graphic is in top view. You can also view system information directly on the graphic. Here, reference node numbers are shown. And here, pipe sizes are displayed. Choose what will be displayed and how it will be displayed to suit your needs. Sprink FDT and Sprink Calc include automated routines to build in rack sprinklers, standpipes, or complete sprinkler systems. You can quickly build models with the overhead generator. Begin with the system layout. Specify the number of branch lines, sprinklers, and spacing. Set the elevations for your sprinklers and piping. Differences between branch and sprinkler elevations will provide for sprigs and drops. Next is the mains window. Position your cross main and feed main with a few entries. Next is materials. Here you specify the sprinkler K factors, pipe sizes, and schedules. The design area window gives you the option of specifying a computer generated design area. The location window is used to insert your project. It can also be used to add piping to existing projects. The new system is inserted in the pipe, node, and graphic views. Unique labels are applied to all pipes and nodes. Correct fittings are applied to all pipe connections. You can easily change items such as pipe sizes, K-factors, and pipe materials with the Properties dialog box. Simply select the items from the graphic or other views and make the appropriate changes in the dialog. Here, the feed main is changed from 4 inch to 6 inch. You can also view and edit items such as pumps and water supply nodes. The program must be licensed with Sprink FDT in order to run fluid delivery time calculations. Your system must have a dry pipe valve and a water supply node. Both of these may be edited through the Properties dialog box. You identify a headset, which is a collection of heads that will open in the event of a fire. In this example, four sprinklers are selected for the calculation. Select the hazard and commodity to get the delivery time requirements of NFPA 13. 
Specify the operating pressure for the minimum density for the hazard. Press the calculation button to start. Select your fluid from the drop-down list. You can easily add liquids to this list through the settings menu. Select air or nitrogen for the system side gas. Enter the gas operating pressure and temperature as well. Enter your required fluid delivery time in the provided cell. The monitoring time is the time that operating pressure must be maintained. When a calc is run, a number of calculations are made with respect to time. The interval of these calculations is set with the time step value. The program will show you if you're using an accelerator or not with the radio buttons. An accelerator can be added to the dry pipe valve through the properties dialog box. With the radio button, select the type of calculation you would like to perform. Trip will determine the time for the dry valve to trip. Fluid delivery will determine the trip time as well as the time for the fluid to reach the most remote sprinkler. Operating will determine trip and fluid delivery as well as the time required for the most remote head to maintain the minimum operating pressure for the monitoring time. Press the Run button to start the calculation. The summary dialog box shows a snapshot of the results. The pre-calc settings are shown at the top. Below this are the operating times for the dry pipe valve and the pump. The fluid delivery time and operating time are displayed for the most demanding heads. The table lists the delivery and operating times for all sprinklers in the headset. The analysis dialog box will display pressure and flow graphs for the fluid at the point selected by you. The heads, dry pipe valve, water supply node, and pump are possible nodes. These diagrams are very accurate and you're invited to examine them closely. The example here shows a head. At zero time, the gas pressure is at 40 psi as set in the calculation dialog box. The open sprinklers begin to vent gas and the pressure goes down. The dry pipe valve opens almost immediately and the pump switch starts the 10 second countdown. The gas pressure continues to decrease. The water has entered the system and is rushing toward the open sprinklers. A pressure spike occurs when the fluid reaches the sprinkler due to the water hammer. The pressure spikes again because the pump has started. The pressure oscillates as the water flow increases. The water pressure stabilizes above the specified minimum and the calculation continues for the period of the monitoring time, which in this case was set to 10 seconds. The trip, transit, fluid delivery, and operating times are displayed at the bottom of the screen. Now that you have completed the calculation, you can modify the system to achieve a more desirable delivery time if required. When a fluid delivery time calculation has been performed, a fill-up animation can be played. At zero time, the heads open and the gas begins to escape from the system. At four seconds, the dry valve opens, allowing water to enter the system. Water reaches the first head at eight seconds. At 14 seconds, the pump starts, causing a pressure spike that compresses the air in the branch lines. The pressure stabilizes and the animation stops 10 seconds after the operating pressure is reached. Sprink FDT includes a wealth of options so you can customize your reports. Make your selections and press print to observe the preview.